Hey everyone, Ezor here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get all of the mission tasks for the first part of Metal Gear Solid V. It's actually the prologue, Awakening. Now there's only two of them, and they're actually pretty easy. The first one is to not enter reflex, reflex mode at once, um, and the second one is a little bit harder. It's complete the mission without allowing the man on fire to attack even once. First one, all you really have to worry about for the reflex mode is if you're seen by an enemy, you'll trigger reflex mode. And it's not so much if you're seen at all, it's more so if you're seen directly. So you can actually be in their field of view and they'll kind of go and investigate and it won't trigger reflex mode. So the only part you have to worry about this is right before you actually leave the building. Ishmael actually says he's going to run interference and throws his silencer. And then right after that you have to get out of the building without being seen. Now, all I literally did for this one was just take out this guy real quick with a headshot and all of his buddies come running up the stairs like oh what happened what's going on and then after that just run out the side here and you'll actually be able to you'll see that there's some flames going on and you'll have to worry about the one guy down here but for the most part all you have to do is just leave this little area without being seen without being entering reflex mode if you do enter reflex mode you can always just uh press start and get out and restart the mission or restart from the checkpoint that'll be fine doesn't actually ruin the progress so so like I said here this is gonna be the part here where I did get spotted I got in their field of view um, you'll see the little white arcs I guess you could say um, and what happens is that it just means that there's an enemy who's going to investigate because I've been seen so to speak so they shine the lights on me you can just uh, crawl out go prone and crawl out it's just perfectly fine I got a little hesitant but it's really really forgiving in the fact that I could have just gone prone and walked across here I do light myself on fire but not that big of a deal once you get close to the exit that's all you have to worry about so once you see that cutscene you're good to go the second part is a little more annoying. As you see, he does attack a couple of times. I still got it after this. I don't know if he just doesn't have to hit you, or if it was just like they're guaranteed to go through, or I don't, I don't, I'm unsure. A little unclear on that one. But basically, all you do is just keep firing the shotgun whenever he gets close, so kind of get stunned a little bit and kind of backtrack. Whenever he looks like he's about to attack, he'll start winding up his arm. If you hit him, it'll all cancel his attack, and then you can not worry about being attacked, so to speak. So. That's all there really is to it. It's the whole scene here. If you do get hit by this one, I would recommend the same thing. Just restart from the checkpoint and you'll be good to go after that. Because this is a really long mission. You want to do the whole thing over again. But that's all there is to it. Uh, this is going to be part of a playlist. So one of the videos you'll see here at the end will be continuing the playlist once I have those up and going. As far as getting all of the mission tasks. And the other video is just going to be more of Metal Gear Solid in case you have any questions on that. So if you don't want to miss anything else I make, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, this will be it for commentary. Hope you enjoy the rest of this one. I'll just show you how I got it. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezor, and until next time, keep your story going. You get him? We shook him off.